Hey, this is Kevin with Gunsumer Reports, and I'm I'm going to show you some video in just a moment of uh, of four fawns and a doe um, that are that are actually eating out of a corn feeder. And before I show you that, I, I thought I'd go ahead and show you this. This I'm using the unit right here, the ATN X Site. It's the uh, the five to eighteen power model, and the majority of the video actually has it set at the um, at the five x power. I do zoom in some, and um, all of the video f for this particular footage is going to be for daytime. And you know, one of the things I want to point out right now is I added this um, this it's called a uh, breakaway coaster, and you know I put it on there to make it easier for me to be able to to change the focus which I mean it made it enormously easier to to change the focus with one hand I talked about that a little bit in the uh, website review uh, these items right here were about uh, it's about twenty three dollars for a pack of two they're not cheap but uh, it really made such a, a huge difference in being able to adjust the focus because there's quite a bit of resistance here for for changing focus. Now, the um, in the video, you know, the, the a couple of things I want to point out. I kind of get preoccupied looking at the uh, looking at the deer more than I do talking about the X site. But uh, well, you know, a couple of things I want you to recognize is that you know the quality of the video, and I've got a section of photographs also that are that are being taken and. In the photographs, as it flips through, you'll notice some of them don't have the reticle in place, and and some of them do have the reticle. The ones that don't have the reticle were the ones that were taken while I was actually taking video at the same time. The ones that do have the reticle shown in the picture were taken um, while I was just taking, you know, capturing photos only. So, as you're looking at the photos, you know, you know, think about the image quality that you're seeing and the uh, image quality of the photos themselves. Now, for you know, I looked at both of those uh, image qualities uh, on my computer, and in my mind, the image quality, I think, was really good for both of those. Uh, it seemed like to me the, the video quality was a, had a little bit more color than the, the quality or the image quality of the the photos themselves and I don't know if that's just a difference in in how the image was converted to a specific file format but uh, anyway I did notice that slight difference overall you know I think the 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 quality of the photos was about the same as far as the the fidelity that you see within the photos anyway you know throughout you know the video I was just hand holding the, the device just like this right here sticking it outside of a window um, and, and watching the deer. Yeah, they're about to eat me out of house and home. I got the exit. It's all the way out right now. She's got a limp to her, most likely. That's, that's the one that's normally there. Zoom in a little bit. All right. Zoom back out. Hey, that's such a neat feature to be able to um, to 
video right through your rifle scope. And um, so many times I'm sitting on a deer stand and I see deer, lots of deer, and I never pull the trigger because it's not what I'm hunting, what I'm looking for. And there's times that they, you sit there and you just watch them play outside, you know. Um, these, uh, these full fawns have been coming with that doe right there, here, and it's kind of like, there's no way that doe had four fawns, so I don't know. Maybe I'm not a game specialist or whatever, but it just seems like to me that uh, that doe's turned into a nanny. keep waiting for these deer to show up so I can get some nighttime video and um, I don't know if it's bedtime when it turns dark for them or not but I hardly ever see them out there at night it's amazing how comfortable they get out there around that corn feeder as you can see there's one that just went over there and just flopped down Right there, it's like okay, and just take a rest. I'm good. Zoom in and you can see how the auto brightness control will uh, start changing the brightness. See that one's further away from the feeder. But I'm really focused in on the feeder, so I really need to change the focus. I wanted to get that one in nice and crisp. I moved off down to the woods down there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of the uh, of the deer in the backyard and uh, that I took using the ATN X site, and uh, I tell you, it's just a, such a fabulous capability to be able to to use a device like this and and be able to record images like that. Um, one thing to to keep in mind is is that you know if you're not um, if you're not into hunting and you're into uh, just observing, then you can actually have the videos of the reticle removed from the videos. Um, that is possible. The, uh, the 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 overall quality. I think that you you get out of the video and out of the photos. I think it's good. Um, you know, I don't think that the the quality of the photos is is as good as some as some of the cameras that you have out there. But I think for what you're trying to capture, I think I think it's really it's it's a it's a pretty decent quality. Uh, another thing to keep in mind that as you zoom in, you know, you're going to start blowing up a picture. Um, that's a certain pixel size, so you're going to start getting more and more graininess as you zoom in. And uh, make sure you check out the uh, my website, and and there'll be more details of other videos and photos on the ATN, this 5 to 18 Power X site, at uh, at my website. And if you like what you see, uh, please hit the like button or subscribe. Thanks.